I think in real life, and in Rust as well, sometimes you set your sights on something and often it paradoxically seems more difficult to obtain. But the flip side of that is that oftentimes when you are busy with some random task, well, that's when good fortune falls in your lap. Today's video is a perfect example of that. This entire tale was initiated with three seemingly simple tasks, but the adventure that would unfold in the pursuit of completing these tasks was anything but simple. What was planned to be a pretty normal rust wipe to maybe three days of gaming, 20, maybe 30 hours of gameplay, turned into five days on this server. Nearly 60 hours of footage, 1.2 terabytes worth of video files. Frustration, vindication, rivalries, revenge, victory, and defeat, and everything in between. This story was quite the wild ride. We have a pretty long story ahead of us, so let's go ahead and get into it. My name's Stevie. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. Now, before we get into the story, just want to say, if you've been missing me since my last main channel video, I've missed you too. And if you're curious, I have a second channel where I've released two two-part series since my last main channel video. So, four videos, and actually at the time you're watching this, I'll have recently released another. So, five high-octane, action-packed videos that have all been over an hour long. You're not going to want to miss out on that, so I hope to see you over there. Also, seeing that it's nearly Christmas, in fact, most of you are probably watching this after Christmas, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays to all of you. Now, let's get into it. Like always, our story started where and how everyone in Rust begins. As a naked on the beach. <sighs> another day, another dollar. What is up, everybody? My name is Stevie, and welcome back to another video. Today, I got something very special in store. We are playing with Gorliak. If you don't know who Gorliak is, he makes uh, primarily solo videos. He's insane. He's a grinder. Um, he's awesome. I love watching his content. It's like He's like one of my favorite creators to watch. Uh, he makes movie-styled videos as well, so... Definitely, definitely give him a little check out. But uh, we have a, a very big plan. We are on Rustoria EU Mondays, which is a 900 pop server. So it's going to be pretty crazy. We're playing as just a duo, like I said. And our plan is to build Q5 right about here. Or maybe P6 or somewhere around this area. We want to build in the snow because we have kind of a checklist of three things we want to do this wipe. The first thing is we want to build a base design. I made it myself on a custom build server. It's a really neat base. It's wide gapped. It's got a bunch of like bedrooms and the compound, all that sort of stuff. It's a really cool design. We want to get that fully built. We want to do one online raid and then we want to also get online raided. The, that's kind of the checklist of the three things. If, if all three of those things happen, no matter what else happens, it's going to be an amazing wipe. I know that. So, yeah. I think a big thing is we just need to get to the base location uh, alive. And and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But I'm going to hop back in with Gorliak now. Hello, man. Hello, hello. All right, where are you at? Um, I'm by Junkyard right now. Afanioka, I'm set for the wipe. All 
right, making a bow. Are you wearing something? Are you naked? Naked, naked. Okay. I see you. You're white naked. naked. Yup, yup. Jumping. Okay. Clapping. Uh, let's go! Oh, let's go, man. <laughs> Holy shit, this is so close. It is so close. And it is... I think it is the perfect place because we can see everything. Let's go! Okay. Can I get this? Wait. Or could you unlock TC? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Gotta get some of that thing. Got an extra bow. Got an extra one of those. Let me get a little, uh... Let me get a little bag situation. <laughs> I'll put it right there. Call it core. Make All a right. team. Make a team. All right. There we go. Make a team. And now we go to power plant. We may be the first people here. Yep. Oh yeah, we're right beside this recycler. What the hell? Yep. What's all meant to be? Yep. Already got a diesel. And no one came yet. Not yet, man. Not yet. We need to enjoy it while we have it. <laughs> For real. <laughs> you want to give me what, what you have? And I'm going yeah. to with you. Take this, and then we'll keep that, and then that, and that, and I'll go recycle the rest. Yep. I say while we have it, this peaceful, we should get the diesel on the other side and just slap the diesel and get a good bit of low grade. And we can get yep. like small furnaces going fast. Actually, yeah, huge cost. Yeah, yeah, we, we should do it right, like right now. Okay. I'll make a code lock for TC. If you just want to take the code lock off it, oh. Wait, are you close to the base? No, there's people around uh, on our base. You hear him? Okay, let, let me depot this guy. Has okay, yeah, depot that. I'm going to go to the... I'm gonna see if I can shoot him in the back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wait, he's ziplining away. Lucky no. shot? No. <laughs> okay. Whatever, I got That's another okay. good lock. I'll come back. That's good. What did that guy have? Oh, uh, I see two more guys. I don't think we want to fight them, but... Oh, 340. They're going... Yep. Yeah. He had the metal pick, some clothing, and a little bit of stun. Okay, we'll take it. Yep. Oh, there's another guy coming through the woods right now. Two guys, two guys crouching up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three guys, I'm running. Can lead camp in our base. Yeah, I'm not really going to fight them. Yeah, I'm just running away. Definitely the same group as those guys, like. Or the guy you killed. Yeah, they're going power plan now. Shit, I'm gonna hit all the yeah. barrels and get all the diesel before they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Nice. Going to one diesel. I took all their barrels and got all of the diesel, and I'm running. <laughs> nice. In Revo already. Oh. There are two of these guys on me now. I'm just oh. distracting. Okay. This diesel respawned! <laughs> no way. Oh no, I'm one shot. Ah, he got away. There's so many on me right now. The yeah, same. Bro, there's people everywhere on our base, I'm telling you. Oh, I killed the guy. With so much, we did this, bro. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. There's a guy right here trying to build. Yep. Hit him. Oh, I missed. He's dropping the stuff. You don't care. Nice. Dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh. I shot that. Nice. They, they suffer on me. No. <laughs> Bro. No, no way I'm dying like this. No. <laughs> Please. Ah. I'm 5 HP. Spear guy coming at us. Catch him. I'm nice. Killed him. Nice. Bow guy four. Yep. I'm 5 HP by the way. I'm 5 as well. There's oh, a guy another, inside. You should back bow. up. You should back up. Yep. Yep. I'm just trying. I'm down. I'm down. Oh. oh. No, I'm down as well. Oh, ah. rip. Oh, That's okay. No. I mean, we were naked, but. Okay, making metal door already. Like, if we could just get inside power and get to some barrels where we could get cloth, that would be huge. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna exactly. open three, two, one. Okay, bait me. Oh, or you go. <laughs> I go. <laughs> Hot air balloon right there. Yeah. Right there, like what the hell? Oh. <laughs> There's a guy right in front of us, bow guy. Okay. Hit him. I see him, yeah. Nice. Hit him again. Nice. He will be recycling. I'm gonna put his clothes on. Oh, he got Huge. inside. He's a bear here, bro. Not dying again. He's wiped. Alright, I'm in. Never mind. Oh yeah, he's got some stuff, some sewing kits. Nice. We need it, bro. We need it, really. Rebo, that Rebo's so scary. Hopefully they just stay at the other recycler and they let us have this one. That'd be so nice. Yeah. All right. I have 170 cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and make us two bags, two outside bags. Or here, I'll give you some. Take this. And make yourself one. Guy in front of us, has he? Yep. Oh, yeah, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Yeah, yeah. He's got crossy. Oh, yeah. I may also die one shot. I think that, yeah, they don't want to fight, actually. There's another guy near- See There's them? another guy near me. We have to run back to base now. Yeah, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. 100%. There's, oh, there's two guys. You see them? Yeah, yeah, I see yeah, them. Yeah, the Hussey guy by our base, but they won't see us. If we go, oh, my God, there's four more. Trees. I'm going to stay close there's to these rocks. <laughs> Hopefully, they, like, don't look behind them. Yeah, now we Gucci, we Gucci. They, they want to go somewhere. Okay. Hey, one guy on us. Below, below, below. Headshot. Okay. I mean, he headshot me. I, I hit him. It's one shot. Dead, okay. Dead, dead. okay, nice. Nice. I'm pushing. We need we need to go base, I think. Uh, there are fucking six guys further back. Like, loot that quick and leave. That yeah, guy yeah. was by himself let's go, let's for go, a second. Go. Good shit. Getting inside the base is going to be painful every time. Yeah, every time. Because oh. people could be up with Crossy on the zip line and it's just like so hard. Okay, but there's a bit Huge. more scrap. Um, there's that. Yeah. I placed two outside bags, so I don't have much extra cloth, unfortunately. But got some extra clothes. Same. I think we should go out with the metal pick and do some farming and just like make this base second story and then entrance on the other side would be a lot safer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, we have a lot of stone. We might even be able to do oh, it Oh, then, now. yeah, we should just make... We should just... I'm gonna take a hatchet out, and you could kind of just chill on the zipline and cover me or something, and we could, um... Now, clearly, the initial peacefulness of the area was too good to be true. I mean, at this point, we were no more than 30 minutes into the wipe, and there were some enormous groups nearby. It seemed like players at every turn, always outside of our base, this was going to be tricky. Before the first nightfall of the wipe, we used some of the wood I just farmed and stone we already had to upgrade our base and get a second floor going. This way, the entrance to our base would be on the back side of power plant, not facing it, which we felt was a little bit safer. We tried doing a bit of node farming in the dark, but we just got killed, and so we decided to wait until the next day before we left our base again. And on this day, we would make our acquaintance with several neighboring groups. Uh, wait. He, he's coming down, he's coming down. He was coming down, I don't know if, he, if he's, he's gonna go back still. up and... Wait, who's Some that? Some guy in the electric thing. Oh, he's yeah. really geared though, that's one of our neighbors, the other guy.
that I'm gonna wait for our neighbor by his face. This like, guy zipped away from me. Yep. Ah, there. All the neighbors are in the recycle, I think. Killed him. Got chainsaw. Nice. And a good bit of <laughs> comps as well. Nice. All we need to, is an Yoka, that's it. Okay, there we go. Okay, roof upgraded. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> they will leave the recycler and they will run this way. Horse? One, one horse guy is coming, yeah. It's not one of them, I think. It's naked, we can kill him. Nice, it's... nice. <laughs> oh, nice. He had some stuff. Yeah, some comps. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go back up this. There's an air drop, you see? That the the uh, 70 is pretty far. Yeah, no yeah, that's knowledge, that. you know? Wait, there's a guy coming down. Yeah, 320. Yeah. Wait, I think he's just running to power. I think he's just running to power. I'm hiding for him. Mm hmm. Do you know where he is? I can't see him. Uh, is he still... Two guys, it's two guys. Okay. Uh, yeah. Got pump. No way, nice. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dead. Wait. Dead. Nice! No way! Okay. Huge Nice. <laughs> Insane! Let's Easiest go. pump of my life, man. <laughs> you, oh my god, you destroyed the first guy. He, <laughs> he wasn't even down. Full dead. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> nice. And uh, this guy had some stone, but there was some trouble. Good comps here. Okay, okay. There we go. You got the comps on you? Yeah, let me okay. put everything here first. Three, two, one. Okay, I'm grabbing them. He's gonna come around to the right. Come in. Hit him. Okay. It's running. He's hiding. He missed. Hit him again. Da, 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 da. Nice, nice, nice. Huge. Let's see what he had. I'm looting him. It's, it's the neighbors. Could be it's more. Okay, 100%. Okay. Yeah, he has so much uh, stuff to recycle. He didn't recycle though. Okay, good. I'm grabbing our recyclables and then we recycle and go. We may need to be sneaky about how we get back. Oh, there's a guy. I hit him. He's dead. He's at the uh, nice. train entrance. If you want to go there, I'll stay with the recycle. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I have two swords for the water pipe. Oh, he's close. He's right underneath me. Hit him, dead. And then the other guy's nice. coming the same route still as the other guys. Okay. I'm getting the. Uh, I see him. Yeah, he's. He's like watching the neighbors within this. I think we should maybe try to get home now while we can. I have a thousand cloth. Uh, the, there's the guy in the middle. I see, it, but the let's go around is... to the right. Let's go around to the right, and then we can mm -hmm. drop off the stuff, and then we can uh, take the fight. Let's go, let's go, let's go, yeah. He sees us as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's, that's hopefully not the neighbors. <laughs> get cool. in, get in, get in, get in. Ah, yes, bro. Huge. Holy oh moly. my god. All right, I'll put in... Uh, I have full uh, inventory of uh, random gear, you know? Sick. Nice, okay. finally, room to use. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we have almost 1k cloth. I didn't see that. Nice. Yeah, I know. It's gonna be so oh. nice. You know, once we get a level 2, we can at least make, like, meds and shit. And we'll get one of these guns at some point. It'll be nice. Of course, too. Alright. So we can always take 3 Python or whatever. Okay. There's a guy right beside me. Hit him. Okay. Need help. I'm coming. There's another guy on me, but I don't see anything. 
Kill them. Nice. There's a guy farming on me right now. This guy has a whole base on him. He's loaded. Okay, you go for that. Okay, got it. He's coming. He's coming right now. Yeah, yeah, he's coming right now. He's dead. Bonk. <laughs> Got some stuff. <laughs> not not this side. I missed. Watch out, they has hold the pipe. Yeah. Hit him. He's not dead. Okay. He's his now. Nice. Well, now I have a shotgun as well. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm dropping it on the ground here. Yeah, yeah. Could even take this time while they're down bad to do some chainsawing. And we could even yeah, do like the exactly. trees, like I could get yeah. on the roof and we could do the trees outside of their base so they have like no cover, you know? So they're like super exposed from all the sword guys Yeah, yeah I'm shit. done, I'm done. Sounds good for me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there. One more. What the? Oh, he closed. Yeah, that's rip. Right. Should have tried to run in, but. No, that's no, okay. It's okay. They closed the door. I killed him off the outside bag. What's wrong with you? Look at you. look at what you're doing, you fucking NPC. <laughs> oh, that's a nice haul of wood. Guy with a bunch of comps here. There's a guy back. There's a yeah, guy on me. The... On me. Okay. On me. A couple. A couple. A couple. How's he already hit me again? I'm gonna be behind him. You can make. I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. They're four. They're literally four crossing oh, guys on me. I would wow. leave. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I have all the recycling stuff. It wasn't much, but okay. 200 cloth, you know? Yeah, Some yeah. ropes. You take it. Hit him. It's 1 HP. Shit. No, I'm dead, I'm dead. He's waiting once, he's Okay. I'm spawning in base. They can reboot. He's running. No, I'm gonna give you info. Wait. Which way is he running? To their base, probably. Neighbor's base, neighbor's base. Hit him. Oh. He didn't die? No, he didn't die. He didn't die with one. No way, man. There's a guy running in hitting barrels right there. Oh, really? Yeah, right in front of us. I'm still going to go left. Okay. Hit this guy near. I'm going to hide a little bit. If there was another guy pushing, they don't Hit a guy here. Me. Nice. Killed the one that was farming. He had some sort of pistol. Going See? to loot it, okay. yeah. I'm not, I'm not with here still. See what they do. Oh, really? Yeah, got P2. Oh, run. Please. I'm running. Yes! Go. Watch out for the neighbors. Uh. No way, that's huge. <laughs> Nice! No way he was naked! Why yep. would he do that, bro? This guy's... Alright, P2 is inside. Actually, huge. Well, now that we are a uh, red target. Yeah. Let me take a brief pause to give you guys some context. Piece together what you haven't done so already. Pretty much, we lived here. In the forest, right next to power plant. As close as you could be. It was a nice base spot. But we had some next door neighbors. A trio. One of their names was Tackle. Our chainsaw of trees right outside of their base may have seemed a little mean, but it was tactical. We needed wood, but if we chopped the trees outside of our base, it would be harder for us to sneakily get inside. And so that's why we did it at their base. Doesn't matter all too much now, but there was another trio just past them in the woods. One of their members' names was Hisoka, who I killed here on the zip line. But the most important part were the two other groups that we had run into. One called GP. 
They lived at the top of the hill, and they were the guys that I had yoked for the pump shotgun and just now killed for the P2. They had to run right past our base to get to and from power plant, and there were at least 12 of them online. So understandably, they seemed like our biggest threat at this point. And lastly, there was a group called R2 that we had run into a fair few times at power plant. We didn't know it at this point, but there were at least 24 of them online. Looking at it now, it's pretty easy to see that we were surrounded, and every group around us outnumbered us. This wipe was going to be tough, and to add to the difficulty, I really didn't have that many things researched on the server, meaning we were going to need a lot of scrap. To start, we needed a tier 2, and then we needed scrap to research garage door, and that P2 that we had recently gotten, we were going to need a lot of it. And so our plan was to finish building the front airlock of our base and then run over to power plant to get more scrap. But before we could do that, well, Tackle and his boys decided to pay a visit to our base. Seems like they weren't too happy about us chainsawing their wood. Nice, that's perfect. I kinda wanna make that a triangle of room. Yeah, he's here. Come in. Hey, so Hey, I'm dead, I'm dead. He's dead. Nice. Could be. There's another. There's another. I can't really. I need to yeah. depot this. I'm, a, I'm a spawning in base. I'm a spawning in base. Okay. Dead. Nice. He's, he's one shot. He's one shot. Dead. Nice. Get inside with that python. I'm going inside. Yeah. Take it. What is he? I don't. I can't. He ran see back him. to his base. But. There's a uh, naked here. He's dead. That's me. Nice. Oh, I got. But, it doesn't matter. I got a nail gun. I get, we got the python. You have pump, right? Yeah, the, this, uh, this is or his back. The naked. He's coming to the door camp. Okay. I need to heal. Putting this river away. Easy Python. Easy, we deserve that shit, man. Easy Python, bro. <laughs> oh, they're gonna door camp us like hell. Go, Luis. Huh. It sounds like they're Python at power. They could they're probably running it, it, doing cards or something. Like, we could, if their base is still open, we should go to their base and wait for them to come back. Okay. Pull a quick one on them. And it's even karma because they started this, so. True. And don't even going to feel bad. <laughs> they literally started this. Unless you consider when we were chopping trees. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, <laughs> technically, you were protecting me, so. <laughs> Look, you can come up here. There's oh, no man. door. Then you can speak. <laughs> Hopefully they're doing a big long run, bro. Yeah, they come back bro. juice. <laughs> Imagine. One's coming. All coming. Dead. 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 Nice. Loaded. They spawned. I got this guy's shit. I got extra python. You got the other guy? Yeah, I'm ready to go. You ready? Go, 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 go. Wait, wait, I didn't get first guy. I didn't get first guy. Hold up. Oh, okay. He had so much. Can you loot? Yes. Wait, they're about to peek. Hit him. You he should be dead. You hit me. You hit me. Oh, oh. Come, come, come. Leave, leave, leave. One's dead. Leave. Go. I'm almost dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You have to fight. You have to fight or pick me. Yes, I know. I know. I know. It's one in base. It's one in base. I'm going to HP. I'm going to HP a little. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna pet it. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No way, he has hit me. No, what? I got pistol, okay, okay. I got Revo. There are two, one's dying, one's gonna die. Okay. Killed one. Nice, nice No, nice. he jumped in. He jumped in with all the shit. Not my body, I think, no? I'm dead. No way, man. They had so much, like, 300 scraps, so many comps. I know, I know. Everything we needed. I know, I know. That is so gutting. Like, we played it so perfect.
Yeah, this, this was frustrating. There was so much potential gain here. Maybe it was karma that we died because we were sitting outside of their base, but from our eyes, we needed scrap bad, but we couldn't go into power plant. There were always these big groups there, so this was our way to do it. It really was perfectly played, except for this moment here, which I don't want to take 100% blame for, because if we look at it in super slow motion, I did not shoot Gorliak. I headshot the bow guy. It even registered that through the sounds of my game, but the server registered that I had hit Gorliak. This happened because of a ping difference. I was playing on an EU server and I'm from North America, meaning I was getting 90 ping instead of 30 or 40, which is what I typically get. It's a small difference, but it mattered. Because we weren't able to get the scrap from them, we had to instead just farm barrels on the power lines for the next 30 or 40 minutes before we finally got a level two workbench. Throughout this time, as we were farming, it seemed like every other time we left our base, we ended up dying to Tackle and his teammates. They had clearly progressed. They now had silencers and Tommies. Morale was low, really low. But eventually, we got barely enough scrap to research the P2, and so I crafted a couple up. This would be our first time actually running outside with proper guns together, even if they were just P2s. See, that sounds like them over there. That's good. Yep. All right, here's here's more ammo on the ground. He's still in the deep line, this guy. Really? Right beside us? Yeah, it's, still, yeah, it's still in the same place. He's is, is line to the next one. We can wait for him there. He's going up the, the other one. Okay. He's going to take the next wait, deep line as well. Uh, I don't know. I think he's going to come back to this one at some point. Okay. There's a guy coming up this one. It's his teammate. Come to me. Coming, coming, He's coming. on the ground. A guy right beside me with Sar. I've hit him twice. I need you. Yeah. Dead. The guy's coming. Headshot, dead. coming. Nice. Other guy, other guy. I'm holding him. Hit him. Has he hit it all? No, only once, only once. Hit him twice. Nice, nice. He's low. He's healing. I only have 10 bullets. Hit left. him twice. Nice. I think we have to check their base because he's gonna come from he's gonna come from there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Stay alive, stay alive. I'm gonna try to let his, his mate coming back. I have no ammo! None! Yeah, I have 10 bullets. That's why I need to play short. I don't know where he is. Yeah, teammate coming naked. No, a python, python. They did a python. Headshot the guy up here. Loot python. Nice. I only have nine shots left. Okay, and I have ammo now. Okay. Can you get an angle I'm on him? Low. He's second might, to top might be floor. Able, might be able. Okay, deep of the pit. I'm, I'm just gonna go. Hit him again. Nice. And again. And again, dead. Nice. No way. This guy's been looted. They're, they're naked. They're naked. Where? See him? Uh, close to you, I don't see him anymore. I don't know where you killed the. Uh, it is. It, and you okay. But the guy's down. You, you can go loot. Fast. I'm going. I will buy you time. I got this guy's sword. Nice. Okay. But you can come. He's only compombo. He's scared. Okay, okay. I can't see him. Nice okay. shit, bro. Okay. Woo. Okay. All right, there we nice. go. Fucking sorry, baby. Mom, bro. Okay. No way. On the Python, we need this. Yeah. Oh, they're laddering. <laughs> Is that you clapping? No. Oh. I'll clap <laughs> too. I think I hear you. Please shoot the drop. He wasn't a shotgun. Idiot. <laughs> Exactly, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's shooting my shit. <laughs> oh, well, that's how you do it. <laughs> Brain nail <laughs> gun, baby! <laughs> yeah, this guy, Tackle, he's the one that, that, that talks, and he's the one that I think is, like, the boss of the group. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now to the next one. Headshot him. Nice. 
Hit him again. Everything. I'm gonna have Hit him again. Angle, He's dead. Oh, this guy's loaded. Okay, nice. Yeah, one close. Hit him twice. Killed one. Run, run, four, run, run, four, run. There's four. Yeah. I'm here. Okay. You're alive? Yep. Uh, did you, did you have the fight? I'm, I'm here. Yeah. Come on, four. They're, they're leaving. Yeah, it's hidden. There is like four. No, 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 no. no. Two, two, two. Okay. That guy's one. No, I missed. No. That guy's literally one. They're all. Well, I'm didn't... leaving. I'm leaving. We can't win that now. I think. Right. Okay. He's here. He has to know. He has to know about you. You're dead. Nice. Uh, oh, tell me up top here. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. Okay. He's recycling. I'm dead to LR. It's the rest oh, of his so boys. So many. Yeah. I like. Uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Like the whole time I was looking behind me, and the second I like focus on one, it's just the LR kills me from behind. <sighs> Things may have looked like they were going all right, but honestly, they weren't. Yeah, we were getting some kills here and there, but the P2 just couldn't keep up with a SAR or a Tommy or an LR. We needed better guns, and although we had a SAR and we had a Python, we didn't have the scrap to research them, so we needed more scrap. Additionally, when you make rivalries like this with nearby groups that outnumber you, clans in your area, the possibility of getting raided becomes all too real. And we didn't have garage door learned. That meant if a group did decide they wanted to come raid us, they could go through our doors and get to our core very cheaply. And so we needed scrap to tech tree that as well. So in general, we needed a ton of scrap for pretty much everything. But how do you do that in an area that's riddled with clans? Simple, you don't. Seemingly impossible problems require extremely creative solutions. And what I came up with next <laughs> was one of the most unique schemes I have ever attempted. Okay, base done, need some stone, like 8k, and scuba stuff. If you're a little confused, give me a second to explain. This was an idea originally brought to my attention by Wiljam a couple years ago. It's a base built on the floor of the ocean that goes several stories up and sits atop the water for the purpose of fishing. 
Unbeknownst to, I'd say, most Rust players is how lucrative, scrap-wise, fishing can be. When you do it in a base like this, of course you're 100% safe, but it ensures that all of your casts go to the minimum distance, which means you reel the fish in faster, and because they can only go so far side to side, it's a lot harder for your line to break. The strategy for the casting takes some time to get used to, but it's pretty simple. Start out with some normal bait, any sort of animal meat will do, until you start catching some fish. Hold right click, and then press left click. The faster you reel them in, the more likely your line is to snap, and the slower you reel them in, the longer they'll take. So you have to find a balancing point. Then, all of the anchovies, herring, and sardine you catch, you'll gut to get more bait, and all of the trout, salmon, and shark you get, you'll keep. Trout you can trout, use nice. directly as bait, and with a bait score of 10 as opposed to the normal 5, it ensures that if you use them as bait, you will get another trout or a salmon or a shark, significantly increasing your chances of getting salmon or shark, which is the end goal when you're fishing. Because two salmon sells for 55 scrap at the fishing village and two shark sells for 90. Stockpile as much as you want or just fish until you don't want to fish anymore and then take all of the fish on you with a scuba set down the tube of your base, out the door, and scuba all the way to fishing village where you'll sell all of your fish for scrap and then you'll scoop up back. It's extremely safe. In fact, the only way you can die in the process of doing this is if some random scuba diver happens to be in between your fishing base and fishing village, which the likelihood of that is next to nothing. I've never had it happen to me. Now let's talk about what we're all interested in here. The numbers. There's a decent learning curve to fishing in Rust. I'd say I'm pretty experienced, but on the other hand, Gorliak was brand new. The first mini of his cast would result in snapped lines, which you're never going for, of course. Now, we fished for about one hour, and these were the fish that we got, and this was the scrap that it turned into. Almost 2,200 scrap. About two-thirds of that scrap coming from fish that I caught, meaning that you can imagine if you had two experienced fishermen, well, in an hour you could probably reel in about 3,000 scrap. Those are some serious numbers. Imagine what you could do if you had a bigger group and more fishermen. Anyways, the vending machine connected to the base would be used as kind of a portal where we would put all the scrap inside and then Gorliak would spawn at the outpost where he would buy the scrap and then sell it to a vending machine we put on the roof of our main base. It's a surefire, 100% safe way to make sure you don't die while transferring loot. It's honestly something that Russ needs to consider removing from the game because it's a little bit broken, but... I'm going to use it until it's gone. In addition to the scrap that we got from fishing, we also killed a guy with a jackhammer, and then we jackhammered a ton. And so in the one and a half to two hours that we were over in the tier one area, this was the loot that we were able to get back to our main base. But before all of that was complete, let's rewind a little bit. Because we were fishing on the other side of the map as our main base, and we didn't want it to get raided while we weren't there, so periodically we were spawning back in to make sure it was okay. We did this many, many times to be safe. So here's a separate time, about halfway through our hour-long fishing session, where I spawned back into our main base to make sure it was okay. Okay, well, our main base is perfectly fine. So I'll wait and then come back. Nice. There's chainsaw outside our base right now. Oh. I am. I'm gonna go try to kill it with. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's probably the neighbors. You kill them and then you say, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And I don't even know if it's worth it to kill them. Like, they made, like, door campus forever. But I guess they can't raid us now. And we'll be not in our base <laughs> for a while. Oh, my God. Come. I'm spawning, bro. I'm spawning. I'm loading. Killed Sor, killed it, got MP. Nice. Oh, 
Found them. It's the guys that live up the hill. Oh. Okay, well. They're pushing okay. me. Can't help you yet. I hit him five times, and he's not down. No way. Oh man, if you were here, we wipe, I know. bro. We literally wipe. <laughs> That's so unlucky, bro. They're gonna spawn soon. It doesn't matter. They're gonna have all their shit and be covered by now. I got at least the MP back, but lost the sword. Okay. Chainsaw. And I'm back. Spawn in main immediately. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I did all that. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. It's one, two, three. It's only three of them right now. They're looting their body. They're gonna keep chainsawing. Uh, get whatever kit you can. I'm gonna spawn in base in about 60 and grab that MP set. And with mm -hmm. barricades, we can actually wipe them. Okay. They're watching our base. Well, if we weren't a raid target, we are now. Yeah, yeah. I think we should just go back to fishing and not cause too much trouble over here. Now, before we do the second half of our fishing, I did expand the base a little bit. From two to three floors, that's when I added that top part with the vending machine, just so it was a little bit more secure. And then we spawned on the other side of the map, and we did the second half of fishing, we hit nodes, all the things you've seen, we turned the fish into scrap, we sent it all through the vending machines, back to our main, or I guess, starter base. Um, I feel like we should do the stone just to get it out of the way. Uh, I think our neighbor's turret just got satcheled. Let's transfer this shit quick. Which neighbors are getting ready? The, the ones we were camping? The... Uh, the close ones. Tackle. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Got it. Coming. Got Boom. it? Boom, yep. And then I'm gonna Easy. The deals, and then you, yep. F1 kill, and let's check this shit out. Yep. Give us a sec. I'm coming. I'm actually gonna go ahead before I get carried away and just learn shit that I need to. Because if we got raided with 2400 scrap, bro, I'd cry myself to sleep. Okay. So. Got garage door. Got barricade. Then got... Uh, electric furnace, large battery, and then all the electric shit. I got that. Okay, we have 1,480 left, and I have all the electric furnace tree, barricade, and large battery, and all the electric shit. Um, okay, what else do we need? That's it. Now we're just... Oh, research SAR. Boom. And then here, take this. There, there, oh, there's the raid. Yep, there you go. And then research that when it's done. Yep. We should go with MP5, I feel like. But maybe we can, like, rat sign one. Well, if we get behind barricades with a SAR and they can't wall... Like, bro. I feel like we could actually put in some work. One, two, three, four, five, six, we take it, seven. Uh, I think we should not do anything. Because yeah. we are going to get raided and we, I don't think we can defend from them. It's a little late, seven and I saw four full kits. Okay. There's one more, eight. There, there is so many, there's probably like ten. If I saw seven, there's probably like yeah. ten. Yeah, GP, bro, there's 
Eh, 11 online. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah, we think we should be preparing a little bit in case they... We, yeah, we need, we need the shooting floor done. We need electric furnaces up and we need our second floor and shit metal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the group that lives up the hill. Probably, yeah. They're running that way. Yeah. Bro, it feels so scary with our next door neighbors getting an eight man oh rocket raided. Okay, we Gucci. Okay, perfect. Uh, they're kind of running towards our base. Okay. <sighs> and they need to deep up first, so. Well, they came. They time. they were at their base. They left their base. Okay. I I'm pretty sure we're gonna get raided now, but let's see. Maybe they think we are broke, so. I could throw up the shooting floor really fast. Yeah, yeah, we should do it during night. We might need some wood, right? Yeah, wood is what we'll need, yeah. Okay. There's two gears in the end as well. I don't know if you need them to make another garage floor or whatever. Okay. Just saying. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're about to raid. Us? Wait, wait. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're inspecting us. Scouting, I mean. Yeah, there here they are. There's another. Yeah. Yep. Get up to the roof. I'm closing okay. I close to everything. If they go down, I'm going to shield. Okay. Yeah, they're playing pretty far back. They're laddering. Five seconds. If I have five seconds, I'm going to shield. For some reason, I don't know why. Hold on. Focal one. I almost see it. No, there's one more wall only. I see it no. one wall. That's one okay. on the top. Like, I can't play roof because I can't see and they have night vision. I think. I'm dead, no. I'm spawning up top. Okay, okay. Nice. One second floor. Okay. Get another one, get another one. Nice, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. I can get my MP5 kit, we're chilling. Two eggs is dead. I have my MP5 kit. Nice. Get get mats to seal, that's our only I'm way gonna to try this. to do it. Okay. I get another one. No, there's one like hiding in the core, like okay. uh, below. I don't know. We have a lot of metal and sulfur up here. I wonder if like we yeah, yeah, yeah. Inten like yeah. almost like intentionally die so they don't raid further in the base. I think that's the core. Like them to be broke is they're getting content. One of them definitely died. Yep. Well, there are guys inside. They're watching the drop down. We need to like kill two. 
Oh, they have TC. Wait, no, they don't. No, they don't. Oh, there's our they TC. They broke the TC now? Yeah, we yeah. gotta go. But they don't have a TC. We have enough to make a TC. We have enough to make a TC. Where, where, where? You have it? Yeah, that's enough. But then we can't see it. We can't place a TC. Wait. Go quick, go quick. I'm gonna, like, start opening doors and shit so they get scared. Maybe they don't worry about it. I got it. Nice. It's in the fucking middle, bro, but I got it. I can't see anything. Oh, I can't get through. Bro, we have to re we have to repair this. We have to repair this. It's low HP. Repair what? Repair okay. what? Look. I can't see. <laughs> okay, yeah, but this is 200 HP. We have no frags. No, no. It's it's stone. I can do it. But they, they will know that I we are hiding here. Okay, it's your call. Just just wait, just wait. Yeah, we should. I mean, we have to we have to repair that. I do it. Okay. If you can, yeah. Nice. Got it. Yeah, so they're going to have to go through two doors and then Wait, what about the floor right there? How low is it? 387. You can pass me that take. shit. Yeah, yeah, take. Wait, I can't see it. I can't see it. Pick it back up just to be safe. So this is what's going to happen. If they start coming up from this side, you're going to take that garage door off and give it to me. And I'm going to swap this for a garage door. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's a hussy here. I can, I can be full HP, actually. Oh, they're going to <laughs> jackhammering it. <laughs> no that, way. That's, fine. that's actually... No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It saves Think... them one metal door. Like... <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hit this one to make it seem like we're scared. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and I can hide behind the garage. And I'm going to jump the... so my feet come through the loot. Through the ground, so they... So they think we're here. <laughs> I'm jumping. Don't open doors over there. We want them to think we're on this side. Yeah, yeah. I think they don't know how to do it, actually. Yeah. Oh, they got like two or three on it. Nope. Hmm. How do we do it? Mm -hmm. Alright, go ahead and give me that garage door. They got it, they got it, they got it. Yep. All right, that's at 130. Here, take my kit and give me DB. Take. Oh, okay. And then this. Perfect. And then this. And then this. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I closed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, we, we need to try to get my DB. I'm going to respawn. <laughs> They're doing this one. <laughs> All right, go ahead and grab, go ahead and grab the loot. Oh yeah, huge. All right, so we put this here. I don't think we should fight them now. I think we should like yeah, but just let them. You, you know? don't think they'll keep raiding until they kill us? Because once what are they going to do? They they're going to go all the way up. You think? I'm dead. I f***ed up. I didn't hear it break. I didn't hear it neither. There are like eight of them in here. <laughs> all right, just hide. Just don't make another noise. Like act I'm like that's here. it. <laughs> Yep. Bro, no I way they're hitting the foundation below me now. Yeah, they are. They are? Yeah. What should what? I do? <laughs> should I try to uh, run like around the roof? Is this someone on the roof right now? Do you have building privilege or no? No, no, I don't. I don't. But it says blocked, so they place their own TC. I mean, I, I don't see anyone on the roof right now. I mean, they're going to get into the loot regardless. Yes, yeah, exactly. I so would. I might as well try to. I would get all the loot on you. Your best chance is to fall into our front airlock. I can leave the door open for you. Yes. Okay. I'm going to open the roof. We should okay. be like. Yeah. Oh, 
I'm opening the roof right now. I'm not done, no. All right. I'm opening. Come, come in the front door. Front door, quick. Front door, quick. Front door, quick. Jump in. Nice. Now hide in there. Hide in there so they don't see you got out. Hide in there. Do you have the sword? <laughs> Just, 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 everything. Alright, don't. Only some stone, only some stone, only some stone. That's it. Don't move. <laughs> I'm not moving. No way. No way. No one no saw, way. bro. No one saw, bro. Bro, no way. I can't believe it. They're so upset. They're so upset, bro. We can't move. We can't do anything. If they start raiding this, you open the, the scratch door, you take all the comps you can, and we hide here as well. Like, we hide everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, bro. You kidding me? Okay, this was pretty unbelievable. You could not have made this up any better. It was an oversight on their part. For a split second, they didn't have anyone watching the outside of the room that Gorliak was in. So despite eight of them being around the base, he was able to get the majority of the loot we had left into our front airlock. Now, yes, we had still been raided, and we would lose our base, and they would grief it, and they would take all of the loot that they wanted from our core, but these couple of guns that we had, the loot that we had in our front airlock, the nodes that Gorliak had on him, well, they would prove invaluable moving forward. Now, we would wait in that front airlock for the next 20 to 30 minutes for there to be no footsteps outside, no one lingering, no chance of it at all, and eventually, that happened. And to our pleasant surprise, they hadn't griefed the hole in the side of our base, meaning we could get the loot out. Oh, I got my DB. <laughs> oh, they must have put it in the core. Wait, let's first I take some... Look. Let's first take, like, a couple... Uh, I guess we don't have tools up here, really. Jackhammer. And chainsaw, technically, all we need. We need to we need to get the core of our next base down and move all this shit there before they decide to come back and place a thing. I again. honestly think this is pretty safe right now, but yeah, yeah, we, we should do that. Oh my god! Oh, pickaxe on the ground here, perfect. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Scripted. <laughs> Now, let's be honest with ourselves. Let's have a reality check real quick. We were pretty much celebrating getting raided and losing most of our loot, but not losing all of it. Which is not a great reason to be happy, because we still lost most of our loot. Despite this, there were several pros to the con of getting raided and those were number one we had used all of our scrap that we got fishing that was a large portion of the grinding we had done on this day and we had used all of it to research some very essential items there is a very 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 realistic alternate universe where we get raided before using all of our scrap i mean we did all of that researching and tech tree etc etc eight minutes before the first rocket hit our base had it not been like that and we lost 24, 2500 scrap, I mean, that would have been terrible. So at least that didn't happen. And number two, this base was always meant to be a starter base. There wasn't enough room where we built to build our full main base. It wasn't the same footprint as our main base design that we had planned from the beginning. We were meant to build up a decent bit of loot because we lived so close to power plant and then eventually put our main base down. But we had been putting it off for like 10 hours since we had loaded into the server. This gave us a reason, a, a need to go out, farm, and put our main base down because we needed somewhere to live. And so that's exactly what we did. Now, we would go to the other side of Power Plant, an area we originally thought would be much crazier than our first area, but that proved not to be the case. Despite being right in between and super close to both launch site and Power Plant, there was really only one big base there, and it wasn't even that big. And so we ran over, farmed a bit, and started laying the foundation of our new home. Come on, come on, come 
on, come on, come on. Go, bro. Yes. Yes. Okay. Huge. Okay. I put this in TC. Alright, I got enough wood for now. He's on he's on the rock to your northeast, northeast. Going high on a rock as high as he can. Hit him dead. Nice. Okay. You wanna loot him? I know where he lives. Yeah. Oh, he has a lot of comps. He's got hazzy. I want I'm yeah, gonna just bait, run you know? by base, run by base. Hit him? No no I didn't I didn't hit him. I didn't hit him. Got him. Nice! Oh, sorry, bro. We need this gun more than you do, my friend. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a long night. Uh... <laughs> okay, so if we math everything out right now, it's 11 p.m. Eastern, which means it's like 7 Russian time. And we got raided, let's say, an hour and a half, two hours ago. So they would have raided us at 5 a.m. their time, GP, because they're Russian, right? So they would have raided us, and probably most of them went to sleep. But R2, which I think is way bigger a group, I think they're also Russians, but we haven't seen them in forever. Granted, we've been fishing a lot, but I think it's I think they I think they just went to sleep earlier, meaning they're gonna get on at like let's say 10 a.m. their time, which is in uh, you know three hours. So we have this tiny window to farm and finish this whole base and i really think if we if we don't do it tonight we're never gonna have the opportunity to do it again because of the 24 hour day that we have this is the three hours where there's no r2 and there's no gp and we can actually farm in like i don't know kind of peacefully so we gotta grind bro come on Need help. I'm dead. I'm dead. Come in, he's hit three times on my body. Probably holding ridge. Oh, he's holding it. Dead. Nice. Dead. Uh, it's done. The electric furnace system. Turning the juice. Uh, what? How does he hit that? No! No, my Jackie, no! They think they can keep me from farming, hmm? Just because I don't have a jackhammer? <laughs>
getting offline raided wasn't an option at this point. We'd farmed way too many nodes for that to happen. We were in sort of a mania, so determined to finish the base. Oh my god, last barricade down. Dude, the shell compound is so beautiful. The base is done. Except the roof. But who needs that? I'll do it tomorrow, I'm gonna fall asleep. Now, near the very end of this three, maybe more hours of farming and building, we'd heard a fight close by, near launch, and so we went to see what we could do. This is what played out. There's a full metal guy running in the middle of the open, I need to kill him. Nice. I think you can go loot it, no? With the barricade? If you push, I don't think they're going to kill you. I mean... I will be shooting as well. Okay. I don't know where the body is. Oh! I'm dead to AK. Instantly. Ah. Uh, now I'm getting shot by three guys. I'm gonna be able to loot my body. Nah, it's over. Getting pinched. Wait, wait, wait. It's Aww. like five, seven, nine, fucking sixty-nine motherfuckers. R two. Yeah, it was uh, only a matter of time before these guys woke up and started giving us problems. Remember that window I talked about in between when GP went to sleep and when R two would wake up? Well, that had clearly expired. It was four a.m. Eastern time, meaning it was nearing midday in Russia, and they were starting to get online, which was our call to go to sleep. Because if we brought any attention to our base, it would get immediately raided, and we were in no state to defend a raid. We hardly had any serious weaponry. Plus, we were falling asleep at our desks. It was time for us to go to sleep. We'd been playing for probably 14 hours, and so we disconnected from the server. And we crossed our fingers that we wouldn't get offline raided overnight. This marks the end of the first day of our adventure. Please don't be raided. Please don't be raided. Please don't. Oh. Huh? <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Only one thing to do this early. Today's gonna be a good day. I can feel it. I'm so happy we didn't get offlined. Uh, like, I always get up, like, I'm always upset when we get offlined. But this time, for how much work Gorliak and I put in when we were so tired, like, the type of tired where it starts hurting, you know? Like, had we put all that work in just to be offlined, I would have been so upset. So I'm glad we're not. And, what the f what is this? <gasps> what is this base? That's gotta be where it's. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna wager that is R2's new base. And I'm just gonna spawn at the fish base because I don't think I'm gonna be able to farm. At least at our main base. So I will farm here. Dude, what is he doing there? Okay, okay. I think this is weird for me because normally when I- Normally I play North American servers, so when I wake up at 10 a.m. or I guess 11 like it is now, it, nobody's on the server. Like, it's like a hundred pop. I completely pushed it out of my mind. There are 900 people on the server right now. So, 
I, I don't really think I'm gonna be able to farm. Like, it's just... Not quite that time. But, I want it to be that time. I guess those shots mean that our neighbors are online. The guys that we built next to. Which could be bad. Fingers crossed it's also, like, a small group. And it's manageable and we didn't build next to a clan or something. But I think we can kind of just stay away from their base until we can gauge them better. And we'll be good. Hmm. Server does not want me to farm all cash. I would wager that guy lives in the base next to us. Oh, Corley Axon. His dot is moving. I thought he was just AFK. Alright, well, I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. And then, I guess, Tuesday gaming begins. That explosion you heard right before I would be AFK for the next couple of minutes? That was Bradley. And Gorliak? Well, he was there. Oh, did I see him? He didn't see me. No. Yes. No way. Give me. Yo, what's going on? <clears throat> I'm in tower, and I need you to get me out of here. Just a lot of fighting going on. A lot, a lot. We need to come back with the beast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is me jumping up. I say we just go, we push together through the rocks, play hard rock cover. Okay. And, um... They told me your MP5, what do you want? Uh, yeah, MP5, perfect. Alright, there's a guy already coming down, but I think he just has rad protection on. He has a gun, he has a gun. I'll use- I have to use MP. Dead. Okay. Who's anticipating? And I might have to change my name again, just in case. I don't want to get raided, bro. Not yeah. right now. So that's a NW fob, probably, I guess? Um, I have no idea. Like, what if NW is our neighbors? You see what's coming, like from that direction, no? kind of. I think there's a guy named All Cash. That's one of the neighbors. He killed me mm -hmm. while I was farming. All right, okay, let's depot it. this and just make me a DB and some buckshot, and let's go right back. Right. Bottom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good shit, dude. How do you pull that off with DB? Yeah, I I have to show you the clip. <laughs> Bro, what am I watching? This is how we get our first AK? So we have Tommy Holo, AK Holo, that's... Yeah, that's huge. Huge. I mean, difference. AK Holo was more than all we had yesterday, you know? Like, that's... Yeah. First AK, the white. I'm crouching this way. Mm -hmm. I think they definitely left, but we could be the first to get to the bodies that they didn't loot, you know? Yeah, I was thinking the same. We can go check it. Python could have just killed one over here. Let's go, let's go inside the building. Yeah, yeah. Go. No one here. One's running toward me. One's going inside. I think maybe like the rocket ship. I think one is inside rocket ship. One's coming by side. I think. Dead. Killed another. Nice. NW. Are right, you want to leave with these kids? Yes, 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 yes. Right. Let's go. Uh, has a guy neighbor. Dead, dead, dead. Could be another. I'm, I'm one HP. I don't have ammo or anything. I'm okay, to just loot him. Body. Yeah. It's I need... the guy. Okay, okay. He was chasing us. The guy that I killed. Yeah, keep swinging around. Maybe he thinks we live, I don't know, further. I mean, he'll figure it out at some point, but ain't nobody raiding yeah. this right now. I don't think they know. I'm gonna change my name again. Okay. I'll do the same. 
These guys may not be Russian, so I think we have to change it away from Suits characters. Hey, let's go different to so. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do The Office. You see The Office? Uh, actually don't. You, you haven't see seen The Office. I haven't seen Friends, no. Oh, God, <laughs> Have you seen Lucifer? No, I, I have to watch it. Have oh, you, yeah, have yeah, you yeah. watched uh, Breaking Bad? Yes, yes, I watched Breaking Bad. You have to be Mr. White. Okay, I'll be Mr. I'm White. I'm the young guy. What was the name? Uh, uh, Jesse. Jesse, yeah. <laughs> You're yes. definitely Mr. White. You're cooking. I'm cooking, <laughs> bro. I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Judge our paranoia how you will, but NW was not a group to mess with. They lived on the backside of launch site and they controlled it. They were the group taking the vast majority of the Bradleys. They were about the same size as R2, if not even bigger. If they caught one whiff of where we lived after we killed them for an AK and a few other guns, our base would be flattened. The entire purpose of changing our name was so that if we killed them again, they wouldn't associate us with the two guys that killed them here and here that were also us because our names would have been different then. You'll know if you play Rust or you'll have noticed in my videos, I frequently look at people's name. It's a great way to tie groups together, figure out where they live, notice reoccurring patterns. So periodically changing your name is a great way to throw people off of your trail. However, this didn't mean we were going to avoid NW altogether, to stay out of mischief with them, to stay off of their bad side. No, this Bradley take had stirred up a lot of fighting at launch site, which we would use as an opportunity to see if we could get some guns and gear. Yes. Oh, sorry, me. I'm probably dead here. No, oh, I'm dead, yeah. He's gonna loot to the cycle, I don't know. It's a couple. Oh, he saw me. I have sorrow. Yes. Killed another sorrow. Nice. Got nice. dead. Okay. I'm getting Tommied. I'm running and sword. The juice, bottom right. Juice. Boom. You get my DB back. Yeah, that's yours. Huge. Oh, there's ammo as well. Can you make me a couple extra buckshot, please? Yeah. Then I'll be good to go. Guy on me. Okay. I'm in the green room, his house. He hurt me. Okay, he's on the walls outside? Or he's like yes. all the way yes, up yes, on yes. you? No, no, the walls outside. The walls outside. I didn't see him, I just heard him for a second and he started crouching, so. Okay. I'm going in recycler. I think he has a sar. He's like uh, a scuff gear. Okay. I'm, I'm in the yeah, bushes. He, 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 he see me, he see me. Stay there, stay there, he's gonna come. Stay there. You see him? He's in front of you. He was. Just uh, yes, wait, just yes, wait. I'm gonna yeah, leave him. Yeah. Ah. No, I couldn't get close enough, bro. I will. He's hit a little bit. You, you can't. I yeah. will. <laughs> oh! Oh! I'm not picking you up, bro. I'm not picking you up. I'm no, sorry. Me, no, 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 no. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. You, you don't know what he has. You don't know. You know. You don't know. You know. Okay. Spawning base. Take, take a gun and come with me. Okay. Get it to me. <laughs> the mean. Please. Yes! Oh. Oh my god, you. I'm not saying anything. I'm just putting this stuff uh. in the box. Put that away. Bro. Holy what? shit! 22 <laughs> gears? He was going for a cycler run. He didn't even farm anything. He, that he brought that from his base. Oh, they're taking Brad. It's the right. Oh, it's not a me. So, oh, that is though. And that's definitely R two taking it. Cause you you want to go back with this? Yeah, 
well, into balcony the... building because that's where people are going to come counter from. NW is okay. going to counter. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So it's going to be big fighting. Ah, uh, min. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nomad guy already coming in on me. Yeah. I'm dead. He's silent. Like. <laughs> It's Tofik. Ah, oh, shit. This guy fucking saw me. Oh my god, I hate- I'm taking a gun out and we're killing Tofik when he comes back. So, this guy Tofik was doing absolutely nothing wrong, except he kept killing me when I was trying to go to the Bradley take and kill other people. And, you know, that was really annoying. Based on the direction he was running, we figured he was probably part of our neighboring group, along with all cash. And so we decided to take out some guns and cut him off when he would run back to his base. Wait, where did you die? I thought you were on the ledge. Tofik was in, in balcony building. Yeah, he went to that one. Oh, okay. Double the one coming out of their nice. base, Tommy. Tofik is going to be coming back and come from behind. Yes, but he's going to be busy with the AK. There's AK just in front of our base. Like, we could actually have to kill him instead, honestly. Okay. I see him. Right in front of me. Behind the tree. Yeah. Twice. Dead. Nice. You can go ahead and loot him. That wasn't Tofik. Tofik was in blue. Yep. I wanna depot this real quick, okay? Yeah. Say our best chance is outside their base again. Fine. Yeah, let's go back together. We'll see. Oh. Ay, caramba. Where the fuck is that? Oh, that's just probably R2 raiding a base right beside them. He love raiding the... Oh, guy on me. It's them. Okay. I, I'm dead, I'm dead. I have to kill them. Is there a teammate? Nice. I can't see anyone yet. Maybe you... Okay. I don't know. I'm picking you up. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm running. Yep, let's go. And the gun? No, uh, yeah, I have it, I have it. You have Let's it? Go. Okay. No, he has extra gun. There's another gun in the, on the ground. Okay. Let, let me depot this, no? Okay, yeah. And I come back naked to it. Yeah. You can stay around there. I'm like gonna stay around, but a little further away. Got it. You got the gun? Yep. MP5 silencer laser. Damn, okay, so it pays off. We get a couple guns. Yeah, yeah, of course. Get the two guns, so... No AK sets from the Bradley take, but information on our neighbors and a few guns from them. This was the last time for the foreseeable future we went to launch site with DBs. It was never our intention to keep doing that. It was just to build up a few guns, which we had and more. At this point, we did a little bit of farming right around our area so that we had enough stone to finish the roof of the base, which we did. Just need a tiny bit more stone. It's interesting. Like the last hour has felt slow, but we've got so much. But more importantly, we got a ton of information. Like in W and where they live. And that they're the ones taking Bradley. And our neighbors, Waloya and Tofik and Alkash. I think location wise, our biggest threat is R2. Okay. And speaking of that, we're getting dangerously close to where they live right now. <laughs> I know. I see a guy in the open. Where? He's, direction? He's direction? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, I Got see him. him, I see him. He's full metal AK. I'm finishing this node. Yeah. And I'm running. I'm going to hide because he didn't see you. If he wants to... Yeah, he's, okay, he's like pushing. He yeah, you will kill him. him. You will kill that guy. I'm just going to keep running. I can't see him, so you know. I don't see him. On me? 
Okay. Nice. Quick, quick, quick. Yep. This was R2, and Gorliak made a small decision here that at the time I thought wouldn't really matter. We can't let him see but him going inside, it's R2. I'm going all the way behind. Okay. Like if I was going naval space, you know? Yeah. A 15 degree difference in where Gorliak ran. Instead of going straight back to our base, he veered a little bit to the right, as if we were running back to our neighbor's compound. This was just a precautionary measure in case someone was watching us as we were running away. We're gonna jump in here, not make another noise for the next hour as we farm. We just need to yep. get, close our doors quick. I don't even know if I should I make the rest of the roof of the base right now. Because they'll see us building the roof, you know? Yep. So, whatever happened to our neighbors? What happened over the next hour? Well, it was perfect. We were too scared to even be in our main base for the fear of making a sound as R2 was running by. So all we did was fish. Shark. Salmon. Easy. You were stealing my sharks, right? Shark, yep, that was a shark. Shark, no way, bro. Oh, let's go. Okay, here, let's put all on the box so we can see. Twenty-two shark, twenty-six salmon. Check the windows, boom. Oh, our neighbors could be getting raided. Or oh. they're get fighting. Yeah, that AK guy definitely thinks we live there, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of dead bodies, and I hear AK around our neighbors. There's walls. And there are roof camp in them. No, they're getting raided. They're getting raided. Really? Yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. Yes, yes, All yes, yes. Right, yes. I gotta sell this and come back. I'm already uh, fishing. We literally got them raided. Oh my I gosh, think. we did. They <sighs> made a pop just in front of our base. Really? Oh my god, they're gonna use it again for us. Um, it technically it's not a pop, it's a two by two. I mean it's a pop that it doesn't have like windows and stuff like that, you know? Oh, it has no windows. Yeah, it's only a two by two. That's it. Metal two by two. So if it is uh, R2, there's 25 online, so... Yeah, we need to figure out who that is rating. It's probably R2. It is, it is. Uh, I mean, we killed him and they, he was taking the base, so... Good thing is that their base is actually big, like our neighbors. So they're gonna have to spend... A lot of rockets. A lot of rockets. They are right now, so... One million of them, bro. What? Uh, one guy just killed AK. Ah, we shouldn't move. We shouldn't leave the base. We shouldn't breathe or anything. Oof. I really do think Gorliak's play from earlier, not running directly back to our base, but running in our neighbor's direction, saved our entire wipe. Because. R2 had just raided our neighbors, surely because they thought that they were us. We had just taken the AK set from them. Now, you can glamorize, you can glorify this situation all you want from me. You can tell me that we were cowards for not going out and shooting at R2 when they were raiding our neighbors. You can tell me that your favorite creator has defended a 2v25 raid defense before. But I'll tell you now, that wasn't going to happen with our base in its current state, and with only two AK sets to our name. It just wasn't. We needed to be a little bit smarter, and that's why we didn't make a sound. We gave it about 30 minutes. R2 had completely cleared out of the area, and we ran to our neighbor's base to gather up whatever scraps we could find. Generator, that could come in handy. I can take it if you want. I got it. I think we try to get out with with this. I see him. 
two full kits just outside of our base. But if we kill them, bro, do I mean I could go and get AK kit, kit and kill them? They're coming to me. They are literally. Do you want me to kill the them or no? I don't know. It's your call. It's your call. Oh. I have AK. I could silence them. I mean, it's probably a bad idea, but there's no way they still have boom to raid us after our neighbors. Like, they used so much. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Ah. Where should I? Your call. Your call, bro. I think they're gonna be loaded, but... One dead. Nice. Can you go loot? Do you see the other? Yep. Because they're all behind gonna come the back. bridge, I think. Is it? Dead. No. Nice. Dead, 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 dead. Go loot, go loot. At that wood wall. Loot the far guy first. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Nice. No. Dead, 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 dead. Go loot, go loot. At that wood wall. Loot the far I know, guy I know, first. I know, I know, I know. I'm watching raid base. Okay, okay, yeah. You can, you can depot that. I can't really watch the far body. Is the only thing. Did. I can't cover you at all, so... If you have AKs, just get the two AKs in first. Go ahead. One respawn raid base, I'll kill him immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Dead. Alright, well, we're raided. <laughs> there was a little bit of logic to our decision. One, we figured they were farming and we needed farm to further complete our base and just to gain more resources. Two, we needed AK sets to defend an eventual raid. And three, even though now they knew where we lived and we were their primary target, they had just used an absurd amount of explosives on our neighbor, meaning they would have to do some serious farming before they could ever raid us. And even if they wanted to, and all 25 of them were farming, which would never happen because large groups are disorganized, it would still probably take them around two hours to farm all of the sulfur, smelt it, craft rockets, etc. And that's a generous estimate. Odds are it would take them longer than that. And it was 6 p.m. Eastern time, meaning it was nearing the time that they had gone to sleep the previous night. So yes, while we knew that this decision would probably get us raided, we figured we would at least be safe until tomorrow. And anyways, we would be on for many more hours for the rest of the night if that wasn't the case. gets blown to smithereens. Okay, this will power eight turrets. We can only make three. But in a bit, we have a clever way to get more turrets for free. Mm, R2 or NW. Taking Bradley. So, as many of you know, you used to be able to place unlimited bags in your base or around your base. But now you can't. Only 15 total. And this base design has a lot of bed placements. Like you have the top tower, the shooting floor, the core, third floor, you have the compound. And so because of that, you use a lot of beds in your base. And so you have less outside bags. So the idea here 
is instead of having outside bags, have outside beds. So we're literally gonna make like three to four flank bases with beds and boxes inside. And I think we'll get a lot of value from them. They're nothing special, they're literally just one by twos. But they have default stone skin and default single door skin, which is different than our main base. So yeah, you could probably piece together they could be flank bases, but I think they'll remain pretty anonymous. And yeah, we can remove our outside bags now. I think it's something not enough people do. You can have a crazy base with crazy angles and all this and that. But when you die, you're still waiting two minutes to respawn, you know? Having an outside bag or outside beds even, just where you can come with guns, especially in like a big raid scenario, I don't think enough people do it. All right, last one should go about here-ish. Done. Okay, nice. Look at that. Four perfectly, that's so satisfying. Four like perfectly placed outside bases, flank bases with outside beds around our main base. Okay, now this is how we're going to get um, free turrets. It's going to take some time, but our neighbors have like at least three turrets. Like R2 hit their battery fast when they were raiding them, and so they didn't break the turrets, they just left them. But our neighbors have these external TCs, so R2 didn't have privilege to pick the turrets up. But if we break these stone foundations on each of the four sides, we should just be able to pick up the turrets for ourselves, which would be huge. Voila. Okay. We should be able to place our own TC and then repair and then pick up the turrets. Please. Nice. Okay. Oh, and we can get the tier three. One on roof. Yep, one on the roof. One in the first floor. Python stack of ammo and a turret. I picked it up. <laughs> nice. nice. Oh my god. I can't reach it. Maybe put a ladder. I can sit on your... Like, I can try to push you. Oh, yeah. Here. Take one. A little bit. Wait. I saw it for a sec. I got I got the stuff out oh. of it. No, please, please. I got it. I got it. No way. No way we Let's snagged go, that. Nice. All right. Let's get out of here. The same sites, I forgot about it. Oh, the same sites, yeah, that's right, let's go. It's crazy, like, when we logged on this morning, we were thinking, who is this neighboring group? How deep are they gonna be? Yep. And then we got them raided, and we took five turrets and two SAM sites from them for free. Which is actually huge. This is eight turrets. This is like kind of all we need. Now, most of the rest of our time until we went to sleep, we spent fortifying our base. We did a lot of farming because like we expected, now about two hours after we had killed our two from our roof, they were getting offline. Only a few of them were left online, probably just watching their base. But let's get past all of the boring farming to get to more exciting moments from the night because a few of these moments were pretty important. Look at all the sulfur to the right. Holy, bro. Yeah, there's more sulfur than there is uh, stone and metal, I feel like. Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, so okay. that heli is um GP. Oh yeah. And they're yep. going what are they're coming to me at the top of the hill. I could kill them here. Wait, wait, no 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 no. That's no good, that's no good. Don't shoot. But they need to be naked. No, but they need to be naked. La la la. They wanna land. They yeah. They're running, they're running. One dead. Nice. Headshot, body shot, double body. Headshot, dead. Nice. Do you have a wall? Uh, small walls. Just take it off, just take it off. Can you loot them? Yeah. I got this guy's LR. They're gonna go on roof beside us. Go, go. Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> this is where we start to show them where we live. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> so they don't have GP in their name. They, they didn't. They didn't have it. No, Weird, no, they but didn't some have of it. We died to the GP on that base earlier. Yep. Or maybe they were just inspecting GP's base. You know? Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Because yeah. they weren't like coming out, they were kind of just like hovering there for some weird reason. We ran back over on foot, didn't think much of it at the time. The whole reason we were there was to build a one by one to farm the nodes that were on the hill and to farm Arctic Research Base because it seemed like R2 and GP were mostly offline. Bro, is that the base? Maybe. Satchels. You want to go F1 kill? All right, you should F1 kill. Let's see yep. if it is. They came with a heli. They're here. Really? Yep. Oh my gosh. No way. They are leaving now. What? No. Yeah, I'm gonna check for leftovers. They didn't get anything, bro. They broke one garage door. That's it. And they got nothing. And they, they are gonna come back. They're, they're gonna, they're come, gonna back. come back, 100. You have set, set, right? Yeah. So I'll just I'll try yeah, to take too. cover in the compound. And then if let you get can... first shots, and then you yeah. hopefully kill one. I don't know. Yeah, from close, I can probably kill one. Yeah. I mean, this isn't bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, IDK, bro. I say we bag and stash our kits right beside this thing. So if we hear boom, we can just F1. Crafting pythons and a lot of ammo right now. BRB. 
they're coming, they're coming. Okay. I have one killed. One dead. Okay. I did one one HP. No way. Okay. I think I yeah only down one. No. Yeah, I couldn't finish him. Where'd they land? Had they in Singamo in the compound? All the way in the middle. Yeah, I think. Just just I'm come back because sure. I'm gonna kill one. Take whatever yep. you can. I don't think we have a single other gun. There's there's nothing. There's nothing. I'm coming. I can wait for them to take off Mini and kill them. Wait, they're coming. Yeah, comes, cool. comes, comes. One dead. Full dead. I'm coming. Alright, come up, come up, come up. You're gonna run off the right side just to bait, okay? Three, two, one. He's with me right now. Is it? Oh. Is it loaded? Dude, that loaded. netting. I can't. Like, I can't. I can't shoot through it. He reloaded. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. He can't take off, so I'm just gonna hold him here. Killed guy in a flank. I got a Tommy. No flashlight on either. Like, I have to go. Dead! I killed him! Nice. Oh, yeah. Got launcher, LMG, AK, Explo ammo. You might want to live with the mini. Do, do you have a bag close? I'm by our new base. Oh, there's a guy. Like, I can't see because there are no flashlights. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got a torch. Okay. Yep. Ooh, okay, I found it. Ooh, full AK set. Three rockets. Nice. HVs launcher. Yeah. Ten seconds are gonna spawn. Oh, over here? Yep. Oh. In the, I mean, in the, the base. Oh, yeah, we chillin'. Here, take this, AK set. Two meds, did he, AK... You didn't check the set, right? The what? The inside? They no, inside. didn't check. But they were leaving. I mean, I'll, I'll check right now. Oh my god. Half box what? of Ortec Hazies. Oh. Nothing in this room. Alright, let's go. But that's nice. uh AK rocket or three rockets, two, AKs, no? two launchers. Or, or AK LMG. Yeah, yeah. How was it? AK LMG and you have an AK. So three or two AKs LMG. 
Oh shit! Three nice. rockets, three HVs, and two. Bro, launchers. that's actually huge. Then we have seven decent kits. Yep. Like, yeah, six AK, six AK kits, and then LMG with coffee cans is going to be. So you can see we were counting kits, full metal gear sets, seeing how many we had at this point, six or seven, trying to calculate our odds of if we could win a raid defense or not. The more metal gear sets we had, the better our chances. So this was a huge play because we got three more kits, but we also got rockets, which were very important to one of the aspects of our checklist, raiding. We needed to do an online raid, and now we had a rocket that we could research so that we could craft explosives. And after this play, I resumed what I was doing before it, which was placing the final turrets in our base. We could have 12 total, we only had 8, and so I placed the remaining 4. After the turrets were placed, we could officially mark the first item off of our checklist. Build this specific base. It was complete, and it was a beauty. And so now I will finally fully explain this base design to you. It is a circle core base with only one layer of honeycomb, meaning it's not exceptionally strong from the side, but it excels in other areas. One of those being the shooting floor. These crafty peaks on all of the corners give you really good angles down onto raiders, while raid bases can't see you that well. These slanted peaks give you angles to retake your roof if you need, and also really good visibility all around your base. And of course you have a standard meta wide gap which also gives you really good angles. We have a signature Stevie tip top tower with more of those crafty downward facing roof peaks, as well as beds and boxes where you can put gear sets, meds, and ammo. But what makes this base truly unique is the compound slash shell concept that it uses. You have three external TCs that lead to three simple entrances to the compound, but connected to each one is two bedroom slash loot rooms that you can eventually upgrade to sheet metal and put three garage doors on. Six of these rooms, eight rockets apiece, and you're looking at upwards of 48 rockets to raid and get the loot from all of them, plus all the explosives you'll need to actually raid the circle core of the base. Simply keep your loot spread between the compound bedrooms and up on the roof of the base and in the core of the base, and there's no way an online or offline raider can get all of your loot. Feeling good about this, we continued to kind of perfect our electrical systems, but really nothing could prepare us for what happened next. Oh. Oh my God, it's R2. Yeah, it's them. Oh my God, they're getting siege raided. It was offlining hours. The server pop was 150 compared to 900 from earlier in the day. It was 2.30 a.m. Eastern, meaning for Europeans, which that's what this server mostly consists of, it was nearing 7 or 8 in the morning. We ran over to see who was doing the raid. We had our suspicions it was NW, and sure enough, it was. A siege raid in Rust is when you continually use the MLRS rocket system every 15 minutes and pound the roof of a big base until there's no roof left. It's really hard for the defenders to defend. Combine this with the fact that most of R2 was offline, it was the middle of the night for them, well, they didn't stand a chance. And W ended up getting all of the loot from their base. R2 was gone from the server. All we could do was try to cut NW off as they ran back to their base. Yeah, full kit. It. Nice. He could have reduced. Yeah. Oh no! He, you you bit my body. I'm one. He's one. No way. First shot. Headshot. I'm so dead. Can't place a barricade. Now this is—I mean, there's minis. They're good. Like, there's no way. This is weird. Cause like R2 was the most likely group to raid us, which we wanted. But I think at the same time they were just gonna wake up in what, like three, four hours, 
and come and raid us then, or, or shortly after, like in the middle of us sleeping, just fully offline. So I think we look at this as a good thing, and I think NW will raid us. They're going to run out of groups to raid, so they're going to raid us at some point. I think tomorrow we have two goals. One, we make this base ready for hell, like anything. Like, lockers, kits, beds everywhere, meds everywhere, seal kits, pristine raid defense form. And we also do our online raid. And and once the online raid is complete, because that's like the second part of our checklist, then we look to, to anger NW, anger other groups, then we can start thinking about getting raided ourselves, you know? I think worst case scenario is we get fully offlined tonight. I don't know, maybe NW got a lot of sulfur and they're not going to sleep anytime soon and like we just wake up, no base. Or we get raided tomorrow before we're ready to get raided. If those two things, if neither of those happen, I think we're in a good spot. Yep. So I'm going to sleep now, but I will um I will see you tomorrow morning, man. See you tomorrow, man. GG. GG, man. Oh, building privilege. It could be an extra though. Uh, looks like we're good. Let's go. It's big. Okay. Did this all smelt? It did. Nice. We'll put this in. Hello, hello. A uh, hello, man. How you doing? Doing good. New day, new dollar. Yup. So, you know what we should do first? Surprise me. Oh! That's where we go first. Do you hear that? Yeah, I was in... They're breaking TC. They're gonna seal. Let, let me face check. Let me face check first. I need to get in first and maybe kill them. <laughs> oh, it's the solo guy, Chin Chi. All right, I'll go get doors if you just want to uh, hold. Yeah. Oh, the, I, I this one more AK. There's two AK total, three AK total. Three? Tommy guy in here. I'm gonna be looking around. Kimchi. A little morning scare right when we got on, but our base was good. And Wednesday? That was the most important day of our wipe by far, and it was only the halfway point. We wouldn't be on nearly as much this day as the first and second day because we each had obligations. Despite that, it was probably the most action-packed day. In addition to wanting to do the raid on this day and prepare our base, we realized to further prepare our base for a raid, we were going to need more gear sets. So we needed to go to pretty much every available fight. We felt like that would be a lot easier with R2 no longer there. Shortly after this little morning moment, we heard Bradley getting taken, which was the perfect opportunity to get some guns and gear. We can go so crazy here. But I don't see that many. AK behind to the right. I wonder Another if... Another AK in DK3. Okay. An M2. What? Behind us to the right, like up that hill 250. I wonder if we wait for them, if they're coming to counter or they're just chilling. Oh yeah, yeah, they could... We can be waiting by the rocks if you want. I was thinking more inside. Yeah, yeah, in balcony we can wait. Oh, it's literally right there. I had to be behind us. 
where we came from. Okay. He saw us. He's he's. Just bait me. I'll open it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Wait. 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 I shot him. Nice. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, it's literally that one guy, bro. I think we should I'm go back, coming. AK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> spawn in the uh, launch base we made. I just spawn the shooting floor. I have AK. Go again. One is close on ticket. One's me. Yeah, yeah. He's t he's just a hazzy. Oh, I'm, he had. I'm dead. I changed to his MP5 and it was in burst, burst mode, bro. Like, no way. We see. No way. Are you sorry? Yeah, I had to kill a guy. Because I can full crouch on as him. As soon as I see him, I will shoot. I see him. Wait. I can get closer. Music. It's on me. Okay. Don't die. Don't, yeah, die. don't yeah. die. Don't die. Headshot, headshot, headshot. He's pushing me. Full Where? Push me. He's headshot. In the middle of the dunes. L literally looting me right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's gonna be in the open. Take your time. He will be in the open. He saw me. Dead. Nice. I'm coming back. Maybe don't rush it. Wait for me and I will do it. I got his LR, I'm gonna run back so I can... I don't even know where to hold. I'm in ticket, I feel pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, do that. I'm gonna loot through. Okay, I'm looting. Do you have M2? No. Crates are... in the ground. Crates are still here. I got it. Nice. Wait, no, I don't. That's the top of the turret. What the f***? I got it. You got it? Yep. Alright, we should go. Wait, there's yep. one more crate. Wait, one more crate with shit. Can you throw attachments on random guns? We need those shit rockets. Cool. Holy, I thought that guy when he was jumping saw me for certain. But I'm in a whiteout kit, so what was I thinking? Of course he didn't see me. That's him, right? Rogue. Ah, th that's the guy that I killed initially. That's a Will Jump's name from our last wife. I'm gonna message him. <laughs> that was Will Jump that took Brad. Really? And that was him outside of our base. No way. They live at Iceberg Above Dome. Oh, I see. <laughs> Are they flexing the 95s? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Willie J, man. <laughs> funny little run in with a friend, more on that later, but what happened next was anything but funny. Do you see something already? Not yet, but it's the rocks here. Hmm. Oh, it's a base on the water, I think. That's all I know right now. Oh! The two AKs, an AK guy holding here, Arctic. Outside? Uh, yeah. Wow, he. I guess he knew I was there, huh? Oh, they're shooting at me. Shit. Oh, he's close on me. I'm one. I'm 16 HP. I'm gonna die. Yeah, he's pushing me. I'm dead. I'm dead. To fin. Oh my god. From behind? No. And just straight in front. It's a Russian guy. Like, I'm coming back. I body shot, headshot him. That guy's cheating. That guy's cheating. 100%. I think he's <coughs> cheating. <laughs> Band. Already? Yeah.
like a bleat. Oh, it's all open. Nice. Ooh, oh, nice. okay. Oh, cheater loot. Oh, TC looking pretty nice. Oh my god, the guns! Wait, did you see the guns? Yeah, so the guns. <laughs> oh, wow, 400 scrap. This fucking rat. And the high equal. Easy. I'm ready to go if you are. This is actually huge. It's five full metal raid defense kits. Are they put here or? Flew over. Safe? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. These loot rooms are okay. so safe. Oh, yeah. No, no, yeah, this, the loot rooms. Putting yeah. top right. Up. Easy. Very easy. Yeah, now I guess we can see, uh, see what, uh, if they're selling pure Ortiz, and then we could go crazy. Yep. By go crazy, I meant farm a lot. A lot of sulfur so that we could raid but we we're gonna need just as much charcoal so quickly i set up an industrial oil refinery charcoal system that would turn all of this wood into charcoal it would take a while but it would give us what we needed then we went farming in the deep snow with jackhammers for a while of course to get sulfur but also to find a raid target for our upcoming online raid as it stood, we didn't really have a raid target because all of our rivals were either big clans that we couldn't raid, or groups that had been raided by big clans. Like Tackle's group, the ones that live next to us on the other side of Power Plant that got raided by GP just before we did, and then Hisoka, the group next to them that got raided later that night, and then Allcash and his trio who live next to our main base that I think we had gotten raided by R2 yesterday. They were all gone. We had no target. And so that's why we were looking for one as we were running around farming sulfur. I think I've probably already done four or five farming montages in this video so far, so I'm going to skip out on doing another one. But this is the amount of ore that we were bringing in. Absurd amounts. And we were also doing things while we were farming. We added 10 small furnaces to our oil refinery charcoal system so that it would get us charcoal faster and it would smelt metal for us while we were farming more. We filled each of our four flank bases with this, a full metal AK set and four hazmat kits, plenty of meds and ammo. This was a huge step in raid defense preparation. We added a 360 degree camera to our tip top tower so we could see all around our base, which was really cool. Oh, <laughs> hello, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, this is crazy. You need to come look at this. <laughs> Found some guys roof camping, kind of right beside where our old base was. Let me see these guys. You want to silence him? Oh, there's four. So there's four then. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, the blue guy. Three, first. two, one. <laughs> Wait. Wait. No. <laughs> <It's not dead. laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> And we stumbled upon some pretty interesting information while we were out looking for farm on our snowmobile. Oh my god. Wait, wasn't this GP's main base? Yep. Um Okay. I guess I guess we haven't been here today. I guess NW rated R2 and then probably got enough sulfur back and just raided GP as well, like when we were asleep. This was GP's main base, right? It was definitely the base of the Russians. Like they surely started on the hill, made this yesterday. Next time we're up there, let's check GP's hill base. Wait, bro, this is definitely raided, or decayed. No, this is raided. Yep. What? Okay, so wherever GP lives, lived, they're, they're done. Like, they're, they're raided. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make GP and R2 on the map purple. 
instead of red. Because they're no longer with us. Not a threat. So is it is it just us and NW, right? Well, for the time being, from what we could see, that's what it looked like. But there was no use in making assumptions. We had bigger fish to fry. We needed to find a raid target. Because periodically through all of what you've recently seen, we were taking breaks to turn all of our cooked sulfur and charcoal into gunpowder. And then all of our gunpowder into rockets. When all of the farming was said and done, we had a total of... 42 rockets and 3C4, which was crazy. And even crazier, how a perfect raid target fell right into our laps. Oh, we oh, should go to that, oh, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Free boom. Oh, oh. I'm freezing to death, but okay, let's go. Oh, it was this way, no? No. Maybe. Oh? Yeah, there's a guy. This, 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 this. I'm dead. On that, on that. Uh, hey, wall my body. There's one at the base. At the base. Oh! I can't find your body with the meds. He's behind the 2x2. Two yeah. two. Hey, shot. Nice. I'm this going for it. I thought I had someone taking I have damage. my AK? Yeah, he's from inside the compound. Yeah. HP. It's alive still. Okay. Can you get to the wall? Kill so that guy? Okay. Nice. There's one more in the base. Like holding me. I killed another one. Nice. Close. We need to figure out where S2 lives. I'm gonna check other bodies as well. Night was coming, so we snowmobiled back to our base. We didn't really get much from this outing, but we at least had a name. S2. It seemed like him and his group were raiding, roaming. They could have even been these roof campers, meaning there might be four of them. They were a potential raid target, but we didn't know where they lived. Of course, we assumed it was this base, but we needed to find out for sure. Oh, I feel so safe with our same sites, bro. Oh, wait, they're off right now. Oh, there's a guy farming down beneath us. Jackhammer, Sulfur. Okay. You wanna use the silencer? Silencer, yeah, yeah. I'm about to pick this ridge. I'm shooting. Nice. He turned around instead of coming forward to hit these. So either he saw us, <laughs> or he was juiced. Yeah. He had Sar. Oh, full invin. Nice. Wait, S2. S2 or R2? S2, the guy, the, the, the group, those guys. We need to figure out where they live. Because if they're farming after we heard probably them raiding, but there was no base that appeared to be raided, they're farming to finish their raid. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah. So we need to figure out where they live and what they're raiding before they finish it. But for now, let's recycle at power. Oh, they're on the roof of their base. Two guys. Here, I'm gonna depot this, then let's go over. Oh, yeah, I see them. Or, no. Three, three, three. Maybe, they don't look like they live there. Yeah. Ah, shit, I need to run this back, but then I'll zoom over. They may be about to raid it. Uh, yeah, 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 I think so. They don't have rocket launcher, though, but... Yeah, yeah, they're... They, two... Of them got pushed into the windows. And that's when he's trying his best to get inside, but he can't do it alone. They may have like C4 and satchels, or C4 and x -Blow on them. Yeah, yeah. One of one naked is coming in, They maybe they died to something, I don't know. We would have heard anything they could have died to. Oh, they are ready now. We oh, can nice. beam them. Ready? Okay, wait, wait. Uh, what, when, when he shoots, uh, again, the again. brown one. Oh, wait. Dead. 
Push. Okay, yeah, I'm dropping. All right, hold the right side because I'm throwing a nade on the left side right now, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Oops. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. He swung all the way left. I have a bag right there. Dead. Nice. Okay, just hold my body. Yeah, they have bolt on the roof, these guys. I'm just gonna hold here. The roof of what? Yeah, they, I know where they live. It's the base just in front of the... of this one, you know? Wait, I don't know if I can loot it. But yeah, I can. Come pick at the roof, wait. Wait, wait, I'm good, I'm good. I'm gonna leave you in there and I'm gonna... Is there anything you want me to take right now? But I'm gonna go out and I want like... to loot the explosives of these guys. C4, 3C4. Nice, nice, it, nice. It says two, by the way. Nice. You want me to fix the raid? Uh... No, I want to use this on them. These guys are off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. You see the guy behind us? Has the guy, yeah, yeah. That, that, that. 3c4 holy 3c4 a little bit of ice pro one satchel nice how do you think we could write that we can easily top down it but yeah Nah, top, we can't top down with two of us against three. We just have too few lives. We'll just get suicide age feed. Um, yeah. We need to just hit it from the side. We need to build a raid base, like, to the right of it a bit. And, like, two-story or something. And just... I don't know. It's actually... That's really tough. It's, it's, it's pretty thick. I think we're fine if we have a turret in front and behind. I just don't know where we hit. That metal makes me think that could be important. Bad, ah, bro. I don't know. This guy just left the base, so so he didn't yeah. hear you, right? Yeah, but they might have not have heard it. I think a full good guy is back in base. Also, oh, one still inside? Yeah, because I hear boots inside. Okay. Honestly, I, I would literally come here and build the right base right now. Before they get off or whatever, you know? Yeah, true. And so, we went for it. This was going to be our online raid. It was difficult because we needed to go fast, but we needed to be prepared. And so the idea that we landed on was make a 1x2 about half a grid away. This was not the raid base. The reason we had to build this 1x2 is because just the two of us couldn't carry everything we needed on us for the raid. All of the extra kits, meds, and ammo we might need, the supplies to build the raid base, including turrets and stuff for a shooting floor, and of course, the rocket launchers and explosives that we would actually need to do the raid. That would all take a lot of space, and we only had so many inventory slots. So with nighttime coming, we used the cover of darkness and our snowmobile to transfer all of that to the 1x2. And then, when morning would dawn, we would go out to make the raid base. There's the boom. Let me check how are these guys doing online. Yeah, Chapai, he's here. He's online. Okay, they're online. We got the boom. Now we just wait. Okay, man, here we go. This is it. Let's dominate. Let's dominate. I can't place that one. I don't think they even realize it.
Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, like if they're in power farming or anything, like... It's so good. Maybe they didn't even hear it. Like, I'm telling you, it happened to me lately. Like, I can't hear people building raid bases. Yeah, weird. All right, I'll get all the boom. You get the extra kits. Yep. Nice. Go, go, go. Oof. I'm putting boom in the back box. Okay. Nice. Like this. Um. Yeah, we'll do the middle. Let's go. Three, two, okay. one. Ladders. I'm not doing anything yet. Nice. All right, single door on the left. Yeah. Uh, it's probably it looks like a wraparound. What the? Oh, yeah. Wait, was that TC? What? That's dung. What the? F Shotgun trap. What the f Oh, there's TC. Yep, and S2. Asleep, I guess? Ooh, wow. This is open, wow. this is open. This is open. Okay, yeah. Clear off. Alright, I'm gonna make code lock. We were so confused. I mean, we tore this base apart. We knew that there were at least three, probably four of them, but we only ever found two bodies. According to battle metrics, which we checked before the raid, two of them had to be online and loaded into the server, including that Chapai guy. But we never found him. We would end up going into every single compartment of the base that you could go into. We used every single piece of explosive that we had brought but no luck. We would never run into these guys in person oh, again. The most likely happens. explanation is that in the five minute interim between when we checked that they were online before the raid and when we left the one by two to start building the raid base, they got off. Sure, they had some all right stuff in their base. A few guns here and there, a ton of components, a ton of charcoal, a ton of diesel, and a bunch of random other resources and things, but very little sulfur. And most importantly, it was definitely not an online raid. I mean, they weren't there. And that was the only reason we had ever done the raid in the first place is because it was an online raid, except it wasn't. So we'd put all of this time and preparation and farming and planning into this online raid to check off the second part of our three-part checklist just to not be able to actually do that. I mean, here we were at around 10 p.m. that Wednesday night, three full days into this wipe, with one third of our goals completed. It was not looking good, and the worst part about it is we had to go. Like I mentioned earlier, we had obligations. We couldn't stay awake until 3, 4, 5 a.m. like we had on the past couple of nights. So we grabbed what we could from the base, which was still a decent amount. We snowmobiled home, we closed up shop, and then we disconnected from the server for the night. Now, I wish that I could tell you that's where our bad luck ended, and that everything that happened next was amazing and perfect, and we completed our checklist quickly the next day, but this isn't Hollywood. Ignore anything that I might have said contrary to this, but this Thursday morning was the most important morning of the wipe. Typically, people will leave weekly Monday servers on or before Thursday to switch to Thursday servers. But this server still had 350 players on it. 
four days into the wipe, which was kind of a feat. I mean, most servers will never get that amount of players on them ever, no matter the day. So we were more than happy to continue our adventure. Like a lot of people, every morning I make a big old cup of coffee to start my day, and that's what I was doing at this exact moment. Pretty poor timing. Wait, there's a bunch. We might be getting rid of it. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. I'm gonna get a kit. But they're scared. I think I feel like they were coming to offer and raid us. You think? Oh, I got my set. Yeah, they're running. Direction? Uh, launch 110. Two running with okay. rocket launcher. There's one close. I'm, I'm dead to the clone close. He has to me with bolt. I want to spawn in the flank and try to, to chase them. Yeah, he's running. I'm chasing him. There's three for sure. One full dead. That wasn't yes. the guy close I saw. There should be another. I see him. I see him. Two here. Two here. They're holding. Three. They're holding. Nice, 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 nice. Are you close? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going in for a flank. I'm going left, okay? Okay. Right there. Right there, right there. Behind neighbor's base, though. I'm gonna go full left. I'm gonna go full right. Oh, yeah. Put them base or where? Okay, okay. Decay. I'm able to see them very soon. Body shot, headshot. Dead. One more. Down, down, only down, only down, only down. On me. On the other side, the other side. This is side. Go, go left. Dead. There's more nice. coming from southwest. I heard AK. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm you holding. You just hold, I'm gonna start looting. I don't have walls, that's the problem, but... Just just stay behind cover. He'll be pushing through the trees, 100%. Mm -hmm. Can't see much, bro. You can loot their kits. I loot? Yeah. I see him, I see him. He's uh, exactly south. Oh, He's I saw full him. way I saw out. Him. Yeah, let's yeah, depot, yeah. let's depot. Yeah. Oh, he doubled me. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna spawn in the flank close. I'm gonna kill him. He's sick. Yeah. Wait, where is he? Are you in base? Yeah. Okay. Coming back out. He should be on your body. You think? Yeah, he is. He is. I see him. I'm okay. gonna shoot from here. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. Hit him twice, he's behind the base. Mm -hmm. Getting in base pose. Uh, he's uh, still behind the base, I'm headshot. Alright, I'm gonna hold him with bolt. I'd like to get closer. Head hit him with bolt. Nice, 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 nice. Hold, 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 yeah. I'm pushing. He's still behind it, I see his feet. I may be able to hit his feet. He's looking for oh, it. Oh, Hit him. Um, no, I get from behind, bro. No way. I can't hold anymore. Hit him. Once he's pushing me. I have to flank around our base. Killed one? Yeah. They want you were uh, Okay, there's one the more, race. there's one more. No, no, the one who Okay, yeah, the, he's, he's like dead. Nice. Okay, let's see. Their third this. is unknown. Quick. Yeah. Uh, George, okay, come here, cover. come loot this body. I wanna loot the uh, one farther. So okay. no one will take it. Yeah, I'm looting this one. Dead! At our compound? No, by the base, two by two with the metal and some tweak. Gotcha, gotcha. So much stuff to loot here, bro. I'm just gonna depot this. Wait, the, the two by two. Alright. 
I'm throwing this inside and I'll come back out. Yeah, okay. Okay. Dead. I don't think they live here. I don't know, same, same, but what if they have rockets there? You're talking about this 2x2? Two two? Yeah. They were coming out of it? I'm not completely sure. I think so, bro. No, they weren't. Let me explain. And actually, there's a lot of explaining that needs to be done. Let's go all the way to the very beginning of this day. That four-man group that ran over with the rocket launcher and C4 that was pretty clearly coming to offline radar base because the second they saw Gorlaic on the roof, they turned 180 degrees around and ran away or tried to. That was Casper and his pals, including names like Palt Ball and Denkish. However, the fourth one did get away, and we know that because we never recovered a rocket launcher or C4 or any more explosives. But when Gorliak died here, this was a completely different group. Let me introduce them. This is a trio. This guy with a Russian name, there was a guy with symbols as his name, and a guy with Chinese characters as his name. Now, I'm not doing this just to trash talk, it's important, but for a second, let's look at how bad this trio was. Because when Gorliak killed this guy right here, this other guy walled a random direction that didn't make sense and didn't have his gun out and just died. But that's when this happened. So a mini flew over launch site and got shot down by the SAM sites, and there was a full metal guy on the ground that we were shooting at. Now, he would get away and we would never see him again, but all of those shots, the commotion, brought that trio back. I see one. He's Hazzy running to our one by two. I'll kill him in three, two. I say, okay, watch out. One. Dead. Headshot. That wasn't him. He died one shot. Okay. That's him. That's him. I'm one. I don't see him. I think he's at the wall. He tripled me. One. I don't know from where. I think he in the walls, yeah. That was a moving triple headshot on someone who was also moving, which isn't impossible, but it's really impressive. I would shortly get pinched by one of his teammates and also die. And a little bit frustrated with losing two AK sets in this manner, we decided to, of course, go back out to try to hunt them down, but by the time we were out there, they were gone. I would use this AK set to replenish one of the AK sets we had taken from one of our 1x2s earlier in the fight, but then... Some footsteps and curiosity brought me to the rocks near launch site. I just heard some guy. I think I found where it is. I heard jumping on metal, so one has to be. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Wait, he's inside, he's, he's placing doors. One's out the back. Jumping in the rocks. I'm gonna crouch around the rock, try to kill him. One chopped a tree over this way. I'm gonna go kill the guy chopping trees. They're gonna come out of their base. That he's chainsawing. You should you should come so that you can see their door, maybe or I don't know. What is the door? Like it's on the launch side. Facing the rocks. Okay. Jackhammering two on me. Just come to me. Just come to me. Okay. They have NVGs. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. He's right in front of me. I see the jackhammer guy, too. Wait. Uh, they're running, they're running to launch. To launch? Yeah, 70. Follow me, follow me. Coming. I see them, I'm, I have to shoot. Yeah, shoot the back guy, three. Yeah, yeah. I hit him four. Killed one. Yeah. They're gonna come from the base behind us too. I can get a peek over that. Just give me a sec. What's he doing? I, I don't He's see. He's just him. hiding behind a node, I think. Okay. There's a sulfur node. Yeah. I'm. I'm. That guy's cheating. That guy's cheating. 100. Is his Russian name? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm reporting him. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's the guy who tripled me before. Yeah. Someone's already about to spectate him. He's gonna get banned quick. So we need to. We need to get to their base. Because he may not be ESP, he may just be aimbot, you know? He's aimbotting. He, yeah, he's yeah, aimbotting 100%, but I'm saying, like, if he's not ESP, we could still no. kill him. 
But they were running away. It was weird. There he is. Good. If he's outside when he gets banned, we get all this loot. If not, then we have to fucking raid a base or something. Hit him, hit him three times. I hit him three times as well. He's at, he's at the bottom down. So it Body shot, headshot one, I'm dead. Insta. I got up. Really see any bodies? I'm dead. Oh, it's Casper and them. No way. Oh, I'm dead to another one. There's like five of these in these guys. Have two guns if you don't have one. I need your hazzy. Oh, now you're gonna die. Picking you up. That's okay, that's okay. You're up now. There's a guy behind the metal. The sulfur note to the left. That Tommy. I need a gun. Give it to me. Take, do you have a gun? Take, take, take. I'm gonna kill that guy. Two there, two there. I have no 5-5. Five, five. Go, go right, go right. Okay, take, take. I'm... Um, my body, my body. I put in G on the ground. I'm dead. No way. It's Casper. So yeah, they would have got all the loot that was on the cheaters that were running that had just been banned. The the Russian guy and the symbol guy and the Chinese guy, but we still had a plan. Despite them running away from it, we had heard and seen the hackers come from this base in the rocks near launch site in the middle of the night. So we figured it was their base, or at least one of them. And we could go all the way in it and down to the doors. It was much closer to our base than it was to Casper's base, so hopefully we could raid it before they came over. We didn't have any explosives, and so we went out and we farmed up four rockets worth, but midway through doing that, Casper's group came over, and so we fought them. Oh, he's one HP. I killed him, I killed him. He's down. He's down? There's two guys. Yeah, there's two, two guys. All right, grab, a, grab an AK now. I'm putting this in one of our yeah, flank yeah. bases, this farm, and then we fight. I see them. He may have seen me pushing the rocks. I won't. Okay. They're on me now, so you can push. Nice. I think I don't think they saw me. Yeah, yeah. They're, you... they're, they're on me, uh, looking at me. What right gun right do you have? AK, AK, AK. Four killed one. Two more. I seen the base. It's two by one base here. I'm one shot. I'm gonna get pushed. I need to back up. See him. They're not, they're not getting pushed. I'm getting roof come. Killed one. I can kill that guy in five seconds. Don't peek. Three. Okay. Two. One. Dead. All dead, I nice. think. I I'm the one more, one more. From one more? My side, yeah. Okay. Liking hard. I'm gonna spawn there. I'm dead. I'm dead. Six. Literally six of these guys, by the way. Literally. Spoon kid. I guess Casper called on more. No one here, one here on me. Okay. Where? Where? I can kill him. I have a side. In the rocks, angle. in the rocks, in the rocks. I'm dead to a different one, man. Hmm. We have four rockets. Yeah, it's it's this is the cheat space, bro. They like the dogs is still open. Okay, so what do you say we do? Do we get the four rockets now and try to raid it fast before they come? Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Three, oh. two, one. Boom. It's broken. One more door. No, I need one more rocket in this X blow and I'm Metal good. Door? Okay, okay. Yeah, go for it first. I got AK. Yeah, this is cheater base. Sulfur. Yep. Oh, the sulfur is huge. It's going to be Let's one go. TC loot room with a shit ton of loot inside. Yep. One more rocket and we're good. 
Explosives. We have no. Yeah, I see four kids. One full kit at least. Okay. Yeah, just don't just stay. All coming, all coming, all coming, all coming. Yeah. Is this two around like around me? I don't know if they saw me or they are going for the second. rockets. What the Do you want to kill you want me to kill them or not? I won four times. How many do you have there? Hold on, there's one on me, one on me. Just stay in the doorway. I'm hit. He's gonna. He's gonna rush. Yeah, he's. He's. He's quick. He knows you're there. He don't peek. Don't peek. One shot. One shot. Literally one shot. No, I'm dead. Yeah, they're okay, finishing the raid. Oh. Nice, they're gonna get all the cheater loot. Oh, they would have just got so much from that one by one. Yeah, bro, this would have been juiced. If this is what they left after eight of them fucking were here, however yeah. many six, like. This is tough, man. I hate this. I hate that they got the the loot from the I cheaters at first after we wiped them. I hate that they get their loot again. Like, because we were one. Literally, I had 20 explode. Literally one rocket short from raiding that last door and just getting all that shit back immediately. Like, these guys, man. I know, I know. Casper's group was definitely being a pain. I mean, this day started as us almost getting offline raided, but thankfully Gorliak was there to stop that from happening, and then we wiped the four-man group, or at least three of them, and then we killed that other trio, and what did that turn into? Casper's group bringing two more guys on, and the other group, the trio, toggling cheats. I mean, that's annoying to fight against as a duo. There's only so much we can do, but it was the fact that for some reason the hackers ran and Casper's base direction and then got banned essentially right in front of them delivering that loot to Casper's group and then being 44 explosive ammo short to blow the last door of the raid we were attempting on the cheater group's base but Casper coming when we were trying to make more explosives and killing us and then taking over the raid and then getting all of the loot for themselves. It was truly a series of unfortunate events. This had spanned probably an hour and a half to two hours of time, and being as frustrated as we were, mostly me, I decided to take a quick break, grab some food, and let myself cool off just a little bit. Murphy's Law. What can go wrong, will go wrong. I.e. I've been playing four days straight with no breaks and the one time I take a little break to get my headspace right, this happens. I guess it did kind of look like we were offline. In the words of a Christmas poem you may have heard, it was the night before October 20th when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But deja vu. Luckily, there was a mouse stirring, and his name was Gorliak. Let me check. Yep. Um, Stevie? Stevie? There's people building outside. <laughs> Stevie! <laughs> I'm here, I'm here. Are you good? Getting raided. 100%. What? They're everything right, Piss. Okay, okay. I killed a lot. Okay, I, you want me to go down? Push. Yes, I think we should push. I'm gonna be holding with the. Uh, Alright, I'm yeah, going one outside. Is, one is outside in the compound. Yeah, yeah. One is in the compound. Yeah, like not not in the base. I mean, like around the around the right base, but outside. I'm outside the right base. But uh, let me go up to the top. I'm gonna take M2 and I'm gonna beam them. Wait, 
damn near. Wait. I'm here, I'm here. I'm spawning on the top. I'm spawning on the top. Kill two, kill two. I need you up there now. Get it up, I'm ready up. Behind these walls? I see. See one hitting twice. To your left. One dead. To another. To another. One to your left. One to your left. Nice, nice. To another. I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead. No, one more outside. No, one more outside. Dead. They're gonna be on bed timer. It's fine. I'm gonna get something. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm holding that. Yeah, yeah you're crazy. good. You're good. Close I'm crouching door. up. Yeah, he looted, I think. Yeah, he and did. He closed the door. I'm crouching up still. Yeah, yeah. They're coming out. I need to read on my my M2. I have 20 bullets. You think I can do you it? You can do now? it now. You can do it now. Okay, do we need? Tell me when it's loaded. I'm looking still. They're not pushing yet. One naked going for the body side. I need to kill okay. him. Wait. I can't see him. He's he should be like in front of you, no? Let's see the naked. Killed one. They're they're coming, they're coming. I, I can't see them yet. I got guns. To the roof. I think. I think the roof is open. We can ladder up to yeah, the yeah. get them maybe. We can, we can. It's, it's I just have a bunch of guns I'm bringing back. Yeah, they, they want to upgrade it. Just keep shooting, keep shooting. Got it again. Nice, nice. I'm rushing. I got it again. Keep going, keep going. Fast. Keep going. I know, I know, I'm trying to go. Dead, all dead inside. Nice. There's a guy outside, guy outside, at the door. He's about to go I, in. I can't see him. I can't see him. He's coming up I the ladder. The naked. Dead. I cleared Dead. off. I off. I put code lock. I have M2. Kill this guy in Did airlock. You? Yeah. Okay. Kill another. You just can't let him get in the front door now. Oh my god, they fucked up! He opened the door, I got the rockets! No way. Yeah. You have to get out with that. Let's get the rockets, you know? I know, I know. Seal that. If there's no gun in there, we're chilling. I'm just double checking there are no guns, so they can't kill me. Nice, one more AK, got it. All right, I'm leaving with all the boom. Yeah, I'm watching. Tommy on the ground, picking it up. All right, I'm going. <laughs> go, go, bro. Yes. <sighs> How many? Oh, bro, full row. They're gonna, they're gonna, <laughs> they were gonna come back with more too. This was just their initial I know, I load. Know. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh Is my. Something else we have to loot for the for that or not? Yeah, I want to go seal it in heavy. Going back. Got another AK base or kit. Okay. Checking bodies. <laughs> another Sar Tommy. Another bolty. Going to seal this in stone. You get the full kits and everything? One, two, three, Already? four, five, six. Yeah, I got all the full kits. I just need to break their bags. Everything yep. as good as out of here.
think it's actually seven names because of the guy outside. Wow. <laughs> How did that break? Did they rocket? Yeah, they rocketed it at the beginning. Oh. Huh? This was bliss. As one-sided as this affair may have looked, our swift response was absolutely necessary. Things could have spiraled out of control really quickly. There were six or seven guys, they had enough stone to make a five or six story raid base, they had an M2 to sit atop of it. Luckily, Gorliak was there to save the day again. Both of these raid attempts from Casper's group would probably have been successful if it weren't for him because I wasn't there. But this huge victory against them was massive for our morale. Needless to say, we were pretty much down in the dumps before this. But that brings me to my next point. Do we consider this affair a raid defense for our three-part checklist? Because on one hand, they fired two real rockets, they blew a compound wall, but on the other hand, they never fully made a raid base, and they never shot a rocket at our base. The conclusion I've come to is that we'll halfway count it. We'll give it half of a point. So if we look at everything, we're now one and a half out of three goals completed, or halfway. Which is perfect, because this is a part one of two. I know that's not what you guys want to hear, but listen closely. Since the previous night in footage you have yet to see, a rivalry had been building with a group that you have yet to meet. And as we continued to push to complete our three-part checklist, the rivalry with this group would grow to massive heights. As action-packed and crazy and epic as this whole video was, it was entirely made to be context for the second part. In my many years of making Rust content, I have never been more excited than I am to edit this next video. The footage for the part two of this story. I don't want to say anything specifically about it because I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but what I can say is deep within this video is an embedded message that will give you a little bit of knowledge about what's coming next. But simply put, I truly feel that the plot depth of this next video far surpasses that of any storyline I've shared with you before. But it sounds like I'm just bashing this whole first part, which is definitely not the intention, because the first three and a half days, this first part of the story, was crazy. From moving in next to power plant at wipe time, to doing the fishing base and using all of that scrap to research what we needed to getting raided by GP, to making that play to save a bunch of loot, to making our new main base moving to the other side of power plant, and nervously going about our time over there, name changing to not anger NW too much, and playing super cautious because we were scared of R2 who was always running by our base, but killing one of them for an AK set, getting our neighbors raided, gambling that killing these two guys here, R2 members, wouldn't get us raided and then next arctic research base that big base that was getting raided that we countered and won despite the odds that was crazy and what i never mentioned at the time is that was a group called fc a big clan on the server and if you remember how we ran into wiljam later on in the wipe well turns out fc was his big rival of the whole wipe he played with oil rats i think he made two videos on it and that's just a crazy random connection and finally, what you just saw, defending against that first offline attempt by Casper's group, and then again, just now, in our finale. When we put everything together, it's pretty clear to see, this video is titled A Dance With Death because this entire wipe, more than most wipes, we lived with the constant fear of being raided. We were not prepared that first night when FC came and raided us, and so for the rest of the wipe, we would be. We put massive amounts of time into farming and planning and preparation and little plays that at the moment seemed like they may not matter, but I think they did. So much building up of our base, perfecting it, and it had just paid off. And well, we would certainly be tested again. Now, as far as our checklist goes, we didn't complete it in this video, but again, it's only a part one out of two. So going into our second part, we are one and a half out of three goals complete. And I guess until then, it's goodbye. My name's Stevie. Thank you so much for watching.